I'm Bill Burns, the author of The Back Channel. The Back Channel is both a memoir and an argument. The memoir covers my three and a half decades as an American diplomat. I try to use my experiences to bring to life for readers the profession of diplomacy at a moment when the United States is no longer the only big kid on the geopolitical block, when we can't get everything we want on our own or by force alone, when diplomacy really does matter more than ever to safeguard American interests and values. I've learned over the years that it can be a little hard to explain diplomacy, let alone enliven it. Diplomacy may be one of the world's oldest professions, but it's also one of the most misunderstood. It's mostly a quiet endeavor, less swaggering than unrelenting, oftentimes operating in back channels, out of sight and out of mind. But I was very fortunate over many years in the Foreign Service. I served proudly under administrations of both parties, under five presidents and ten secretaries of state. I played a modest role in an important period in American foreign policy. From the highs of the end of the Cold War to the lows of the Iraq War more than a decade later. From secret talks with the Iranians to the turbulence of the Arab Spring and the return of great power competition. Along the way, I dealt with a kaleidoscope of difficult foreign personalities, from Vladimir Putin to Muammar Gaddafi. It was a fascinating life, and I try hard to be honest about what we got right and what we got wrong. The argument in the back channel is pretty straightforward. We live at a moment of profound transformation on the international landscape, a landscape that's more crowded, complicated and contested than at any point in my lifetime. To navigate that landscape, diplomacy ought to be our tool of first resort, backed up by military and economic leverage. Instead, I worry that America and American diplomacy are increasingly and dangerously adrift, with our allies losing faith in us, our adversaries taking advantage, and the international institutions that we built in our own enlightened self-interest beginning to teeter. We need urgently to renew diplomacy, while we still have a better hand to play than our rivals, if we play it wisely. I should also emphasize what the back channel is not. It's not a book of DC insider gossip. It's not about score settling. It's not a collection of 10 point plans or intricate policy proposals. And it's certainly not an elegy for diplomacy. What it is, I hope, is a reminder of the value of diplomacy in this new era and of the wider significance of public service at a moment when it is under intense and deeply misguided attack.